Pressure Testing A short guide of pressure test for piping system Scope To performing pressure test of piping system is helps to verify integrity of system General Pressure testing shall comply with codes and standards or specifications Preparation Preparation of test pack Test pack shall identify by specific test package numbering system Test package shall include following documents Test package shall include following documents Pre-test checklist Punch list Test package summary Pressure test report Test blind list Flange inspection report Bolt talking report Markup P and ID Orifice flange inspection report Water test certificate for hydro test Reinstatement report Flushing or blowing report Inspection reports Calibration certificates of gauge PSV, manifold, temperature and pressure recorder. After completion of piping installation and all hot work activity, verification shall perform by isometric drawing and P and ID. QC inspectors or supervisors line walk down shall conduct and prepare punch list. Pressure test should be complete prior to insulation and painting. Punch list. Punch list is a document preparing at the final stage of project which contain list of tasks to be. Completed for achieve company requirement. Punch list shall be categorized as A, B, and C. Punch category A must be rectified prior to pressure test. Category B can be complete before or after test but it should be cleared by completion of. Reinstatement. Category C to be clear before commissioning. Once cleared all punch items. Hot work activity. PWHT and NDE. Test pack shall be submitting to client for obtain clearance for test. Once client accepted the package it will be released for test by QC department. Test preparation. Prepare test manifold, and it shall be subjected to 100% NDE of all joints. Manifold shall be separately pressure tested at least 1.25 times of system test pressure and test. Report shall maintain. Pressure gauge and PSV. Pressure relief valve. Using for test should be calibrated by approved third parties. All joints should be exposure for test and all valve should be open condition. If ball valve which have cavities should be set in half open condition. Check valve shall have source for pressure upstream as well as downstream for drain. If not have source check valve flapper should be removed before test. All instrument should be removed and blind to be installed before test. For all test limit area provide temporary or permanent blind and bolt talking to be done. Minimum two gauges shall be used at the highest and lowest point of the system. Proper vent and drain shall be provided for system. Test manifold. Demonstration of a manifold model. Selection of gauge and PSV. Test pressure should be within the range of 30% to 80% of the full range of gauge. Or gauge range should be within 1.5 times to 4 times of test pressure. PSV, pressure relief valve, should be set at 1.1 times of test pressure. Example, if test pressure is 10 bar, we can use a gauge of full range between 15 bars to 40 bars. PSV should be set at 11 bars. Test pressure for hydrostatic test pressure at any point in the piping system shall not be less than 1.5 times of design pressure. As per ASME B31.1 and ASME B31.3, when design temperature is greater than test temperature, following equation can consider to calculate test pressure. P T equals test pressure to be used. P equals internal design pressure of piping system. SAT equals allowable stress at test temperature for the pipe material. STT equals allowable stress at design temperature for the pipe material. For details, refer to SME B31.3 para 345.4.2. Test fluid. For hydrostatic, water shall be used as testing fluid. If water cause any damages due to freezing or any adverse effect, non-toxic and non-flammable fluid can be used instead of water.
If liquid is flammable its flash point shall be at least 49 degrees Celsius. The water quality to be used for test is depend upon material to be tested. For carbon steel portable water can be used as test fluid and for stainless steel maximum allowable. Chloride contained in water shall be 50 ppm. Water analysis test shall be conducted prior to test. For pneumatic, nitrogen shall be used, or alternatively clean, drear. Oil free air meets the requirements also can be used as test medium. Pneumatic test procedure. All testing preparation shall be completed and verify system prior to start pressurizing. Step 1. Raise the pressure initially up to 25% of test pressure. Once reach 25% of test pressure stop the pressurizing and hold for 10 minutes. Preliminary leak test shall be conducted for temporary connection and visually check for any leakage. If there is no any leak found, then proceed to next step. Step 2. Gradually increase the system pressure to 50% of test pressure. Once pressure reach 35% hold pressurizing for 3 minutes to stabilize the pressure and continue. Pressurizing up to 50% of test pressure. Hold at 50% of test pressure for 10 minutes and observe pressure gauges and pressure recorder for pressure drop. If there is no any leak found proceed to next step. Step 3. Gradually increase the system pressure 10% of test pressure. Once reach 60% stop the pressurizing and hold for 5 minutes. Continue the same step up to 100% test pressure. Each and every 10% of increment pressure will be hold for 5 minutes and observe all gauges and recorder. For pressure drop. If there is no any leak found proceed to next step. Step 4. When pressure reached 100% of test pressure hold for 10 minutes and observe gauges in. Recorder for pressure drop. If there is no any leak found proceed to next step. Step 6. Reduce the test pressure to design pressure and conduct snoop test for all welded joint. Threaded connections and flanges and hold pressure for minimum 30 minutes and observe gauges in. Recorder for pressure drop. If there is no any pressure drop found test was accepted. Note. If there is any leak found during testing time or hold time. Depressurize the system and repair and proceed retest again from initial stage. If any pressure drop found in gauges and recorded depressurized to 25% of test pressure and check. For leaks. If necessary. Depressurize to zero and perform repair and restart the procedure from step 1. If any leak found in thread connections, line shall be depressurized before tightening. Pneumatic test arrangement diagram for reference. Weather condition. When conducting pressure test weather condition shall be considered. Test should not perform if ambient temperature below 7 degrees Celsius and metal temperature should be kept above. The ductile brittle transition temperature. The possibility of brittle fracture shall be considering when conducting test at low temperature. Draining, flushing, drying and reinstatement. After completion of hydrostatic test, immediately line shall be thoroughly drained off water by first highest point vent and then drain. At the low point vent, water shall be properly drained off by using hose connection. After draining the piping system shall be properly dried by blowing with dry compressed air free from oil and grease until line fully dry and clear from moisture. After flushing and drying completed, all items removed for the test shall be reinstated. Reinstatement of piping component shall be carefully controlled to ensure that they are installed properly. All flange joints should be tightened with new gaskets. Major difference between hydro and pneumatic test. Hydro test. As test fluid water and non-toxic and no flammable fluid can use. Pneumatic test. Nitrogen or clean. Drear. Oil free air can use. Hydro test. Test pressure is normally 1.5 times of design pressure. Pneumatic test. Normally 1.1 times of design pressure as per ASME. B31.3 and 1.2 times of design pressure as per ASME B31.1. Hydro test. Recommend for high pressure application. Pneumatic test. 
Recommend for low pressure application. Hydro test. After test immediate cleaning. Flushing and dry is required to remove moisture and avoid corrosion. Pneumatic test. After test cleaning can done very easily. Hydro test. Test medium disposal is difficult. Pneumatic test. It is easy to dispose. Hydro test. Energy stored per unit volume of water under test pressure is very less. Pneumatic test. Energy stored per unit volume of compressed gas during test pressure is very high hence safety. As it is more for pneumatic test. Reference. Following code I refer for prepare this document video. Thanks for watching.